Hey, what's up guys? Chord Master is here. And in today's video, we are taking a look at the chords to Drake's Marvin's Room. Now, I do piano lessons and um, one of my students who is in seventh grade, she is learning, you know, the normal things, sight reading and, and posture and all that stuff. And I recently started incorporating like her letting me know any specific songs that she'd like to learn um, that are, you know, ones that she enjoys listening to. And that's been really cool because quite a few of the songs that she requests are ones that as a 36 year old man, I'm like, oh, I listened to that song. Oh, I listened to that song. Oh, I listened. Like it's like Frank Ocean there's some Tyler in there. There's Drake, there's Kanye. It's like, wow, that's pretty cool. Um, so uh, this is what we're going to look at today. So let's take a look. We have the OP1 field here. And what we are going to do is I'm going to show you that I have my phone which is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which I now really enjoy. I, at first I was like, oh, I want to get the smaller one, but I like the size of this uh, a lot. So this is app called uh, Ultimate Tabs. They have chord progressions to songs. And this one here is, as I mentioned, Drake's Marvin's, Drake's Marvin's Room, two plural things. Okay, so the first chord is F, so you see it says F there. So F is an F major, right? If it doesn't say F and then lowercase m, that means F major. So F major, we're going to start here on F. We're going to play these three. Let's even bring this up a little bit. Okay, so we're going to play these three. Why is this an F major? Well, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then four, half steps. Cups of the rose, G major, uh, in my old phone. I have to do the clean version because of the, the the you know young young lady that I'm working with. I can't I can't we can't throw curses in here while we're working together, right? And then now this one, check this out. So this so you know what? I don't even want to do the half steps. I, there's a video that I talked about major and minor chords. Um, I'll link it in this video so you can definitely go watch that uh, if you don't know the basics, but. We, we want to know just like what all the major chords are from C over to C. So this is saying F major and then G major and then A minor coincidentally is also just the first, you know, every other white note. And this is where it gets a little different. Now it says C. So normally you're, you're like, okay, boom, boom, boom. And that's C, or in this case, you know, well, hang on, like that, right? But, and not just because of the way this layout of the keyboard is, but also because of the um, the fact that we want to use inversions, right? We look at this last chord, A minor, and we notice that an A minor has C, E. We know that C, E are part of a C major chord, and so, Whoops. The only thing that we need to do is we need to change the last note from an A to a G. So look at that. That is called an inversion. That is second inversion. So again, cups of the rose. Na -na 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 on phone. I should call and go home. The women that are not too long. Down, 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 down. Bo -do -no -no -no. And that's basically how it's done. Let me know what song you guys want me to do next, and I will maybe do it if I feel like it. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Peace.